I have seen terrible husbands, terrible men, but Francis is top up there, up there with the worst. Good morning um, and happy Sunday. Um, I don't know when you'll be watching this uh, reading vlog, but yeah, happy Sunday. I filmed it to I filmed it on a Sunday. It's a Sunday morning. I just woke up. It's, um, if you can see, I think it's um, almost nine o'clock. And um, I've recently been in a deep uh, reading slump. I don't know what happened um, in August. I had a really amazing August uh, reading month. Um, you can watch the video of I think I've done a, my August uh, wrap up and uh, I had a nice, nice August, had some amazing reads, but then come September and I've just not been in the mood to read. Uh, so far, I've read only one book, uh, The Birth of a Dream Weaver by Ngugi Wathiongo, which I enjoyed, a five star read for me, but then I haven't been able to have three other books that I've been reading and I haven't been able to read them a father. So I took a break, um, actually took also took a break from social media from, um, went offline uh, for a day or two. And then I decided to pick up uh, one of my favorites uh, to help me come out of this because I hate being in a reading slump. So, uh, so far, so good. Uh, this is what I am currently reading. It's uh, The Second Class Citizen uh, by Buchi Emecheta. Uh, Buchi Emecheta is an author that I, I, I really love. I've read uh, one of her other books, The Joys of Motherhood. And I've watched almost all her videos that she, she, she was recorded uh, which are available here on YouTube, and I love her principles as a as a black woman, as an African woman, and I've been meaning to read this. Uh, this was on my TBR list for September, so I just pushed it up, and I'm enjoying it. I'm almost um, halfway, uh, so this is what I'll be reading today. Um, so hopefully it will help. Um, yeah. Otherwise, uh, before I forget. Uh, my name is Florence, and I'm a black woman living in Germany who loves reading books. And um, I just want to take you along on my journey and um, hope to inspire you if you are also looking for books or recommendations. So follow me along. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, write an encouraging word in the comment section. Thank you.
um, I'm about uh, 50 pages left um, in my book. What I'm reading is Second Class Citizen by Buchi Amecheta. I had to come out uh, because I have kids and they need fresh air and the weather is so nice. So we've come to the playground and I'm just continuing reading. And I'm so mad at Francis, who is one of the characters in the book. Uh, that's Ada's husband and he's, I think, the second worst husband I've ever read in a book. I just can't wait to find out what happens to him because I want him gone from the book. <laughs> I feel like I can't stop reading because I need to find out what's ha happening later. He does not deserve to be in the book. Ada is going through so much. Uh, but I, I like the way Bucci writes. Um, she castigates uh, the society. The book is based on her real life story, but the way she, talk, she writes, uh, it's like in first person, I think that's what you call it. Uh, she's looking at her own life and uh, castigating what is going on and the society at large and what is wrong. And she's living it, but she knows it's wrong. And she's, yeah, she's seeing it from the outside. And we are all seeing it and we've seen it in our daily lives. Ah, and we just hope for better days, especially for women. Patriarchy and misogynoir will finish us as women in this world. Uh, is there really, makes me really wonder if, will the fighting ever stop? We, are f we fight every day. You wake up and you're fighting against patriarchy. And this is something that was written, a book that was published in the 1970s. So I can imagine just how tired she was and how women are still tired at the moment. I hope to finish this and I'm just looking forward to Francis disappearing. Let's see. this as a reading vlog and um, so much happened during the day that I couldn't manage to film uh, but the bit that I managed to film of course I will share um, and uh, it just started the day started with me uh, waking up to read the book that I'd picked out which was Second Class Citizen by Bucci and Macheta and one of the reasons why I picked this book I think I forgot to state that is because I've been in a re reading slab, maybe I measured it. And I'm so happy that I picked this up because I think I'm, a, I'm slowly coming out. It's like when you're crawling out of a deep hole, I can see, I can see the surface. Um, and I'm so happy about it because this book has just excite, made me excited about reading again. And then of course I went to, I took the kids to the playground. Uh, we were there for like two hours and I managed to read, like go almost to three quarters of the book. Then I had some other stuff to do, like those um, parents meeting that I had to attend. Um, and later, of course, when you have kids, you have to cook and clean. I've just been cooking and cleaning the whole day. So finally now um, they're all in bed and I have time to uh, I took the time to finish reading the book. Um, I finished it, yeah. 
<laughs> I finished it. Uh, my second book in August. I'm so proud of myself. Yeah, we did it. We did it, Joe. We did it. Um, and uh, I, I think I can do a review on it. I've just realized that this book could even have been part of my the series that I've been doing on this channel, which you can also watch. Um, the portrayal of patriarchy in African literature. This is this could have been such a good book for it. I think that's why I, I just want to give it the space and the time and dedication that it deserves. And uh, this book is about Ada, uh, of course, written by Buchia Macheta. It was um, first, it was printed, it was first published in 1974. So we follow Ada. Ada is a young woman of uh, Igbo tribe, um, and this is inspired by real life experiences of Buchi. So I think she just used Ada to represent herself because she's also Igbo, and where she was born, it's it's the same. It's actually the same, and uh, we follow her from childhood. She's born in a family. She has a an, a, a brother, and um, we can see how. Already from childhood, her parents or even the society value boys more than girls. And she ends up, uh, she, she didn't start going to school. Her, father, her brother went to school first before her. And then much later, because of her insistence, uh, she actually just took herself to school. And her father was like, okay, okay, let her go to school. It's not like she's going to go far. Uh, and she'll be married off. Um, and then much later, we follow her. She excels and uh, finishes school, and uh, she goes to Lagos. Unfortunately, her father passed away. So she goes to Lagos, which is the big city, and she wants to study. She, want to go, she wants to go to the university. But she can't because she's a single woman. Single women do not live alone. That was back in the 1990s probably 1950s or something and then she meets this guy he's called Francis and uh, she decides to marry him they are not in love but for her she sees Francis as like a, a way to like you need a protection from a man you need as a woman you just you know you're just there but when there's a man you can do things under him you know he gives you some sort of protection and she didn't have anywhere to go her parents were I remember her, her dad was, had already died and her mother had remarried. And uh, so there was nowhere for her to go. So she ends up marrying Francis. Francis does not even pay bride price. That was already, for me, the biggest, biggest red flag. Francis, I was, as I was reading this book, I was hoping that she could somehow, Buchia Macheta, could somehow find a way to right of francis you oh he was the worst i have i have seen terrible husbands terrible men but francis is top up there up there with the worst and you can just see from the beginning francis and his family how they he saw i think from the word go he saw ada as a meal ticket as his meal ticket because we just see the decisions that she made. He, she, she paid for him to go to England, to go and further his studies so that she could join him with the kids. Of course, she has a kid. Uh, she gets pregnant, has a child, um, and she's already pregnant with the second one before she joins him in, in the UK. And when she gets there, he's, he, he's not even what he went to study. He hasn't even finished. He keeps on failing. But I think he was doing this intentional. He was a bitter, bitter man. We are told, women, we are told, choose wisely. Choose wisely. But I think in as much as through the whole book, we see Ada paying for her wrong choice in marrying Francis. Because she's p pulling the weight. She's pulling the weight. She's working. She's bearing children. He is essaying her, you know, like he's, he is abusive to her physically, mentally, emotionally. 
does not help with the children. He cheats. He's like Francis has no saving grace apart from that he is a man, you know. And the society, even when they moved to the UK, of course, that's where they, they faced the second biggest challenge, which is racism. And um, there's racism, of course, from the white people, but there all, there's also internal racism that they re get from black people, even Nigerians, Igbos. There are people there who are already, they, they, are, they, are, they have, they have internalized this racism and they feel like they now have the power to oppress other black people, especially people who are not well off enough or who have just arrived from Africa and who have just started. And also there are people who are just jealous because Ada was a very hardworking woman. She was very hardworking. She could bear children. There are people who are just jealous, her landlady, the landlord. So there's just a lot of time oil in her life. But I loved how Buchi Mecheta writes. I mean, we could all, all wish that Ada, let Ada catch a break because she was going through so much. Once she make one step ahead and two steps behind, one step ahead, two steps. And, but I think Buchi Mecheta uses Ada and how, Ada, because Ada speaks in as much as she's, you you feel sorry for her, but she also writes it in a, she writes, she has like a sense of humor uh, in a way that the book uh, talks about heavy themes, you know, patriarchy, misogynoir, um, sexism, classism. Of course, that's why the book is even called Second Class Citizen, because that's what Ada feels. And even all the black people, they feel like that's how, they're being um, valued. They're valued as second-class citizen. Even a woman is valued as a second-class citizen. A girl, as compared to a boy, is valued lower. The value of a girl is lower than of a boy. But still, the way she writes it, it's a way that she is reminding us of the things that are happening in the society. You know, we could, we, you could, I think it, you could read the book and be so like overpowered by all these things that Ada was going through and you'd be angry and you'd be like, Ada, please make a change. Please dump him. Please get rid of him. Please move out. You know, all these things that we, we are rooting for you. But at the same time, instead of concentrating so much on Ada, it kind of reminded me um, that these things happen and they are still happening. This was in 1960s, but they are still happening even now. We know, we know of families where men will say a woman is only giving birth to uh, girls. Where are the boys? Reminds me of um, her book, uh, The Joys of Motherhood, where she talks about the main character is like, if there was a place where I could go, where I would be told, here, this is where you can get male children, I would go and pick them up. I would go and get them. You know, and we know that still happens in our society, especially in the African society. For me as a Kenyan, I have seen this, and this is something that is still going on. When a woman comes home with a child, they're like, so, this is it. When you come home with a girl, they're like, this is it. When are you bringing as a girl? And they even push the man to marry a second wife or a third wife or a fourth wife just to get a baby boy. Really, really. And at the end of the day, they are not helping to take care of those children. It's usually the woman has to take care of the man, take care of the children, take care of herself. And still, you, they expect you to give them male children. As if those children, you're going to put them on a plate to eat. No. Children are a gift from God. We do not choose. It is even a blessing. If that is what you want to be, a parent, there's nowhere written that you wanting to be a parent, it's, it's not in your hands that you will be a parent. It is not in your hands that you will carry a, 
a healthy child. It's not in your hands that you will have a, a child of a particular sex. No, it, it's out of your hands. And that is something that makes me so angry. Makes me, but I'm just happy that Bucci talks about this. She talks about the racism in the UK, which is still going on until now. She talks about being looked down upon as a black woman, trying to get an apartment. That is still happen happening even now, even here in Germany. I cannot just go out and try to find an apartment. I know there are so many places I will go. Just even if I... Re I sign in my name they will know this is a black person this is a foreigner there are people who will not give give me apartments especially if it's privately owned so these are things that we are still facing until now and i like that Bucci reminded us of that nothing not so much has changed from the 1960s until now and we see her against all odds against all odds her dream to become a writer that was another thing oh, that broke my heart. The ending, I don't want, I don't want to spoil it for anyone, but there's the, the part where I was just like, ah, ah. but all in all, an amazing, an amazing read. You can tell that it's, I'm happy again. Um, I'm so happy again that I, I picked this up. It was the perfect book to save me. So Bucci, I had so much faith in you and you have not disappointed me. And I'm looking forward to reading. There's a, um, the book In the Ditch, uh, which is also by her, which talks about uh, moving from after, like, cause, because this is inspired by her life story. So after the, the part where this book ends, we move to the next part. And that's what uh, I would love to read. Um, as the next book by her. But Bucci, this is part of the African Writer series. I would really, really 100% recommend it. This was an amazing read. So happy that I got to read it. And you can just see, I had, these are all the, like the, the stickers that I put. And you can see there's a lot of red flags. The red flag, I, I did, I even needed to use other colors. I think I had like two or three green flags. I was just, uh, I was angry at Francis. I was just like, why does he exist? Why does he exist? But as Ada says, he was there to give her children. And uh, for that, she was thankful. So, of course, I will give, give her grace for that. But, oh, Francis, really. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this reading, reading vlog. I know it's it's not like, People do extended reading vlogs and I love watching them. Uh, but for me today, this is just what I could come up today. And um, yeah, I hope it's inspired you. I hope you will come along with me on this journey as I try and hopefully get out of this reading slump. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Um, have you read any book that has also got you like, in a fighting mode, uh, if I had like those uh, boxers gloves, I would I would be I would be having them on now. But yeah, are there any books that have made you you know the fighter in you come out? For me, that's definitely this book. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye.